Hello, I am Adam Jernigan. Today we'll be exploring creativity apps. These are apps that can be used to explore student learning and to, and to make visible artifacts of what students have learned and how they have learned it. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with making learning visible using creativity apps. apps. Welcome to another episode from Team Kanapik and Jernigan. I'm Adam Jernigan, partnered with Aaron Kanapik, and today we're going to explore making learning visible with creativity apps. Essentially, we're going to be focusing on Lucidchart, Pictochart, and Canva. All three apps that I'm sure that a lot of you have used in the past. But today's focus is going to be on processing and feedback. We want to give teachers an opportunity to better understand the process that students are using for learning. The connections that they're being made. How, how are those connections being formed? To give teachers a more a more in-depth look at how students are learning. So just a brief overview of our three apps. We have Lucidchart. Lucidchart is a graphic organizer made digital to allow students to make digital graphic organizers to truly show the connections of how they're learning orders and processes. The next two are Pictochart and Canva. Both of these are a lot, a lot more highly creative, and students can can still show their connections, but also get to express their creativity to its fullest. We all know that students come in a wide range of uh, creativity asset, creativity assets, and can use all three of these tools plus a whole lot more to greatly express their creativity, their learning, and a, and in the same time, show exactly where their deficits are. So for us, we believe that Canva and Pictochart are going to be your more mid to high level creativity apps, and your Lucidchart is going to be your low creativity app. In order to make this work, there's one other thing that every teacher needs to create, and that is a rubric template. Just like the one that you see here, uh, what we would love for you to, to do is to make you one like this, and of course you can and of course you can change, adapt it to your classroom content, adapt it to your assignment and how you set it up. But we do feel that it's imperative that there be a student narrative. Because when it comes to graphics, just because it it is what the student has learned, a visual of, of how they see things in their head, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone else looking at it will obviously understand exactly what the student is trying to describe. It would I could liken it to artwork. This is a child's or a student's artwork. And some will be more abstract than others, and some will require more explanation than others. And it gives, it gives the student the opportunity to really sell their presentation. We also think that graphics is important. When it comes, it comes, to, when it comes, it comes to the graphics of a, a diagram, it needs to be readable. The graphics should be appropriate. The colors should work well together, and the fonts should be legible. And then, just like any other assignment, teamwork is always optional. And it is up to the teacher to describe what that teamwork is going to look like and what the and how the content should be shown. And what I mean by that is as far as how much content is required in this graphic organizer or in this uh, picture. So for us, it is very important that 
again, students get the opportunity to pick their app and pick exactly how they want to demonstrate their learning. So, as we said earlier, Lucidchart is more low end on the creativity side. One drawback to Lucidchart is that you you do get to use it for free, but you can only keep three projects at any given time. There is a maximum on, on storage, and you can only have three available at any given time. Pick the chart has a similar drawback. Uh, for pick the chart, you, you have five. But what I will say is you do have the option of downloading these, saving them to your computer for future use, and deleting them off the program and making a new one for new topics. And lastly, we have Canva. Canva for educators and students is 100% free. All of these have great templates. All of these have great options. At the end of the day, it really comes down to which one is down to which one is the best fit for you, for your students, mainly focusing on your students, giving them the option to work with what they're comfortable with, uh, giving them the option to expand their, their knowledge of different apps, and give them the option to truly display their level of creativity and their connections to their learning. As always, we hope you take, as always, we hope you can come back to our, our session and visit and ask questions. But if you, if you need us, please feel free to contact us and we'll, we will help you in any way. Thank you. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.